For today's lesson, I've had a request to have another look at factorials, but bring it back to basics. So what I've done here, I've got four multiplied by three, multiplied by two, multiplied by one. Now, when we talk about factorial notation, it's actually a short way of writing this. We can actually write this as, get the pen, it is four with an exclamation mark. So that simply means take the four, then multiply it by the next number down from that, and then the next number, and then the next number, until we get to one, then we stop. So if I have three factorial, I know I can write that as three multiplied by two multiplied by one. Now, why is this useful and what can I do with it? Well, if we take something like five factorial and we want to divide it by three factorial, then what is that? Well, I know that five factorial can be written as five multiplied by four multiplied by three and two and one. Now the three factorial, that's obviously three multiplied by two multiplied by one. Now I notice that I can start to cancel here. Obviously the ones will cancel, the twos will cancel, and the threes will cancel. And what I'm left with is just 5 multiplied by 4. So 5 multiplied by 4. And obviously, obviously that is uh, 20. Now another way to think of this is, well, if I have 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial, I can actually write that as 5 multiplied by 4. And instead of writing 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, I actually know that is 3 factorial. So I can write it like that. Obviously that is divided by three factorial. And now obviously the three factorials will cancel and I'm left with the five multiplied by the four, which is obviously 20. Okay, so let's have a look at another example then with slightly larger factorials. So for example, if I have 20 factorial, and let's say that was multiplied by five factorial, and we want to divide that by, let's say, 18 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial. Well, the 20 factorial, I know I can write that as 20 multiplied by 19 multiplied by, and if I notice on the denominator, I've got an 18 factorial, so I'm going to leave the rest of this as 18 factorial. That's multiplied by the 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 factorial. And again, the reason I'm leaving that is because I know I've got a three factorial here. Now all of that is divided by 18 factorial multiplied by the three factorial. And hopefully you can see I can start to cancel again. So the three factorials will cancel, the 18 factorials will cancel, and what I'm left with is the 20 multiplied by the 19 multiplied by the 5 multiplied by the 4. And a quick bit of maths gives me 7,600. And obviously you could use a calculator on that bit, but the whole point of this is to try and cancel as much as possible. Now it's okay doing this with numbers, but it really comes into play when we start to look at algebraic terms. Let's have a quick look at those. So let's look at a quick example. Let's say I have n factorial, and I want to divide that by n minus one factorial. Well, the n factorial, I know I can write as n multiplied by one less than n. Well, one less than n is n minus one. And then I would have to multiply by n minus two and n minus three, etc. Well, that can be written as n minus one factorial. And the reason I'm doing that is because in the denominator, I have n minus one factorial. And these two terms will therefore cancel leaving me with n. Let's try another example. Let's say I had n plus 2 factorial. And let's say that's multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. And I want to divide all of that by n plus 1 factorial by n minus 2 factorial. Now, before I do anything here, what I'm going to do is look at the numerator at the top and the denominator and look at the terms within that. Now, the n plus 2 factorial 
and the n plus 1 factorial here, I know I'm going to be able to do something with those. So the n plus 2 factorial I can write as n plus 2 multiplied by n plus 1 factorial. And hopefully you can see why I'm doing that. The n minus 1 factorial, well that's going to be n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 factorial. Obviously that is over n plus 1 factorial and n minus 2 factorial. Now hopefully you can see I can start to cancel here. The n minus 2 factorial will cancel with this one. The n plus 1 will cancel with this n plus 1 here. And that will leave me with the n plus 2 multiplied by the n minus 1. I'll say I could expand brackets there. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense for you. I do have other questions on YouTube if you want to take a look at them. Some are a little bit more advanced than this one. But hopefully that gives you a better grounding in what we use factorials for and how we can actually simplify these expressions. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.